Kieran McCullough is my name. I'm a senior lecturer in sociology in the sociology department in UCC. The course is starting in October. It consists of the standard MA, which is three taught courses plus a research dissertation. The first one is on the sociology of crime, which basically looks at how crime is counted, what counts as crime, uh, what, what are the causes of crime, what kind of people get involved in crime, why they get involved in crime. Um, the whole question of white collar crime, which is increasingly topical, which is crime committed by people who don't seem to have any real need to commit crime, unlike a lot of the other people who, who do commit crime. You look at issues why they don't end up in prison, other people do. Um, the response of the police to crime, the response of the courts to crime, and that the whole general area of punishment. Um, the second course is a course which is more directed towards the practical responses to crime in the sense that look at the way we respond to offenders specifically. So young people diverting them from the courts, community projects, the role of the probation service, both in kind of care for people, preparing for the courts, dealing with the courts, dealing with people in prison, dealing with people after prison and so on, which is, as you know, something that's become quite topical in the last couple of weeks with people coming out of prison. So how sentences and, and offenders are managed in some kind of way and how the community is, is protected and the offender, in a sense, is helped. And the third course is divided into two sections. One looks at the role of punishment, the role of prison. What is the role of prison? Prison is often seen as the ultimate punishment in our society because we still refer to people as getting off with a fine or he got off with a suspended sentence. So we do have this notion that prison is the only real punishment and that raises the question what we punish people for. Why do we put people in prison? Who do we put in prison? And particularly when so much of the evidence suggests that putting people in prison doesn't actually stop re-offending. Most people in prison have a high rate of re-offending. Though ironically enough, the, the one group of offenders with a relatively low rate of offending are sex offenders, who only about 13 percent can go back to prison, whereas people who commit burglary and so on, about 60, 70 percent will end up serving another prison sentence. So the question of what the role of prison in society is, and the fact that you can look at the crime rates in different countries, and there's no relationship, very little relationship between the level of crime in a society and the number of people that go into prison. So some societies have relatively high crime compared to Ireland but much lower prison populations. So what do you do to kind of create a situation in which people are diverted from prison? So the whole role of punishment. And the second aspect of that course is how crime is represented in the media because, you know, the very high levels of fear of the media, yet most people can go through their lives without really being victims of crime. So how do they, where do they develop their fear from? How do they get to know about crime? And the role of the media and how it represents crime is very significant in that respect. So you have the situation where the crimes that people are most likely to be victims of, which is a crime like burglary, is the one that gets the lowest level of media coverage, whereas the crimes they're least likely to be victims of, like crimes of violence. Um, tend to get much higher levels of, of media attention. Um, and equally, um, the demonisation of criminals that goes on through the media is a very important aspect in the way in which people's fear of, crim of criminals and of crime is shaped. So the media, in a sense, are essential. They, they mediate, if you like, between crime and the public. And the course will look at what the, what, how that works and the, the factors which shape the way the media cover crime. The dissertation is where a student will take an aspect of the criminal justice system or of crime that's of interest to them and do a piece of research on it. Uh, it would be supervised by one of the, the staff contributing to the course and that counts for about half the degree and that's a central part of most MA programmes now and it's a central part of the criminology one as well. We're aiming the course at a range of people. One is obviously at students who become interested in the topic through the two years, the three years they spent here, quite a lot of them were aiming at people who work in the criminal justice system like probation officers, like guards and like people who just want to know more about the topic. Um, in a lot of cases inquiries are coming from people who work say with young people, young offenders who work in um, in prisons, who work in rehabilitation. They want to know more basically about the areas that they're involved in. So there's a fairly wide range of applicants in that sense. So far we're on course to make the numbers that we require to get the course up and running. So we think it will, we will make the numbers by August.